superficial parotidectomy technique. Πόσο καιρό το έχετε αυτό? Τέσσερα χρόνια. Πώς ξεκίνησε? Ε, σαν φακή και σιγά 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 έγινε σαν καλή. Σας ενοχλεί στην καθημερινότητά σας? Όχι. Τώρα τα υδρόγια γυρίζει ο υδρότος. Έχετε πάει σε άλλο νοσοκομείο? Δεν έχω ξανά έρθει. Πότε? Έρθατε πριν τέσσερα χρόνια. Notice that I placed the incision behind the tragus. I start raising the flap inferiorly under the platysma. I fasten the low bull to the drapes with number one silk suture. I continue preparing the flap under the preauricular area over the parotid capsule. I create a plane of cleavage elevating exactly subsuperficially to the musculoaponeurotic skin while trying to maintain a uniform thickness. This is extremely important in order to avoid Fry syndrome. Small filamentous structures coming from the parotid capsule to the skin's flap can be ignored and cut. Note that the flap is placed under oblique traction by the assistant towards the surgeon, just like a tent. Watch the repetitive stroking movements and the cutting direction of the blade. Not perpendicular, but rather oblique to the flap. I strongly recommend this step, as well as the whole operation, to be done under three times magnification. I fasten the flap to the drapes with number one silk sutures. the greater auricular nerve. I dissect the greater auricular nerve. I save the posterior branch of the greater auricular nerve to the ear lobal and mastoid skin. The anterior branch is intended to be sacrificed. I sacrifice the anterior branch of the greater auricular nerve. And keep it aside for use as a potential graft. I identify the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and I detach it from the parotid capsule. Note that some fibers remain on the specimen. I identify the posterior belly of the digastric and I detach it from the parotid capsule.
I dissect across the cartilage and I prepare the pretracheal area. I cut this island of connective tissue safely because it is far above the level of the facial nerve. Two Langenbeng's retractors are placed in order to isolate the view to the point of interest at the styloid mastoid foramen. I identify the exact position of the digastric notch on the mastoid. I identify the tragal pointer. I palpate the osseous external auditory canal and I find the base of the styloid process. Find the base of the styloid process. And I start to envision the trident. recognize the main trunk of the facial nerve, the central arm of the trident shows the exact place of the stylomastoid foramen and the exit direction of the facial nerve. The trident guidance. Exactly in the middle of this distance, I start exploring the nerve. I start dissecting the main trunk of the facial nerve. Confirmation with a neurostimulator and monitor the recording. I find the bifurcation of the facial nerve. Posterior auricular artery. The posterior facial vein. Submandibular branch of the facial nerve. Ωραία εδώ, άλλη. Τι κουνάκι το νιώθω. Mm.
Τώρα είναι κάτω, Χρήστο, τώρα είναι. Ε, η Μεσέη ήταν. 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 Ε, η Μεσέη ήταν.